right, so the first three episodes of Titans have been released on Netflix. Um, and here's my review of them. I think these episodes, these three episodes are pretty fine, I guess. I mean, the first episode was okay. The second episode was pretty bad. But the third episode was pretty good, actually. So, um, let me just... First, I'll just go through the character breakdowns, and then I'll, you know, um, go through, uh, the Titans, um, the three episodes, and what I liked and what I didn't like about them. Now, firstly, I just want to mention what a great cast. I think this cast is really good and work great together. I think, hmm, Starfire, I don't know, I'll talk about her later, um, but yeah. I really like this cast. I think they work great together. And we have Dick Grayson, who is a not a rookie cop. He's actually a detective, uh, unlike the comics. But I think, firstly, his outfit. I've mentioned this in pretty much every Titans video. It's amazing. I love the outfit. The best outfit on the show, by far. Uh, and um, I think Brenton Thwaites is fantastic as um, Robin. But I just I didn't like how he killed people. He reminded me a lot of Dick Grayson some at some times, but sometimes he also just, you know, was just a ruthless killer and killed people and said, fuck Batman, and I didn't like that. I think he was a great character, except when he killed people. That was just really annoying. But yeah, uh, I think Dick Grayson was all in all a pretty good character. I like how he had the stick but he felt more like Jason Todd than he did Jason Todd and Damian Wayne than he did Dick Grayson and I really hope he does become Nightwing in the future. I think maybe in the end of season 1 would be pretty cool for him to become Nightwing. And let me tell you one thing, this show is very very dark. It's it's dark. It but uh, I managed to get past, you know, the darkness. I accepted the fact that this show would be dark and the whole fuck Batman thing. It happened in the first episode and I mean, it it didn't really bother me that much because I I accept I accepted to start with that this show would be dark and it would be gritty. So the whole fuck Batman thing didn't really bother me when I watched it. Um, in the trailer, I was a little bit mixed about it, but here it didn't bother me. It was it felt fine. And we we do get to see glimpses of Bruce Wayne. We don't actually get to see you know him. But we see glimpses of him, and we see, um, you know, we see uh, how he, um, you know, he. we see he, they don't want him talking in the show, so he just leaves Dick a letter. So, yeah, but I really hope we see Batman appear in the future of Titans. Now, with Starfire, we pick up with her, you know, she has amnesia, she, she can't remember who she is or what her name is. Uh, they call her Cory in the show, which I like because that's comic accurate. But yeah, Starfire. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I think it definitely isn't the Starfire from the comics. They've changed a lot. For example, her power set. It's totally not like what it was in the comics. She just in the show. She just shoots Hellfire, and she didn't never. I think did that in the comics. It's not like the green alien blasts she shoots in the comics. And she had, like, I think she had the hooker outfit for the first two episodes. And it just, oh, it didn't remind me of Starfire at all. I don't think they got the right actor either. It just, this wasn't Starfire to me. It just, but I think she definitely grew on me. But in the beginning, oh, she just wasn't Starfire. She was just this alien with amnesia that shoots fire. She is, that's everything she is. She isn't Starfire. I just hope they make her more like Starfire in later seasons. The first character, the first character we meet in the show is Raven. Now, this is a little kid Raven. This is just a child playing Raven. Now, it does seem like this whole uh, season, the first season, is going to revolve around Raven. Raven, I think maybe they got her actor a little bit too young. I think they could have gotten a little bit of an older actor, but I think it's fine for now. Beast Boy was 100% my favorite character in these first three episodes, but we see him for, like, two scenes. Yeah, he. I, it's kind of sad how he was my favorite character, but we only see him for two scenes. He was, like, not in it 
at all these first few episodes. I guess it's because they can't afford showing him transform into animals that much, which I get, but I still think he is the best character on the show, and they should really do more with him. And we do see a Beast Boy transformation, and the CGI looks great. I love it. I am so glad they don't just make him like Vixen, how he just... That would be... I would burn... I would hate Beast Boy so much if they made it like that. But I'm so glad they made it that he actually turns into animals. And the CGI in that scene where he did turn it turn into a tiger looked great. Um, And I love the, the shipping between uh, Raven and Beast Boy. I definitely hope they will get together like they did in the comics. I think they got together there. So, yeah. I really think... I really hope they will get together, and they probably will. And I think they have great chemistry, the actors. So, in the second episode, we meet Hawk and Dove, and one of them is very peaceful, and the other one, not so much. Yeah, I love these two. They're great. Their suits are fantastic, just like Robin's. Great. They're just great. I definitely see a bright future ahead for the DC streaming service, DC Universe, whatever they're calling it. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be great. I think this the first three episodes were pretty good. Um, they were fine. I liked it. I liked episode three the most. I think episode one was um, uh, fine. Episode two was pretty bad. And episode three was, of course, pretty good. So I'm kind of mixed about all the S episodes. I think there some of the, some are good, some are bad, and I'll maybe do another video on Doom Patrol and Harley Quinn and the other shows coming for the DC streaming service later on, uh, later today or tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching my review, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.